Hi, welcome back to the craft show. This is a favorite, my favorite part of the show where we get to show you new products that have come in to our studio. And um, most of these you should be able to find in your local craft shops or online. So we have a wide variety of things to show you today. <coughs> start with this origami paper. This is from a uh, company, Japanese import company, and these are all high quality linen papers uh, suitable for origami. Beautiful colors. Also for um, origami, this is a tie dye. These are actually hand done tie dyes. So you do need to um, give them a good pressing because they have little creases in them. But you can see they're quite beautiful. This particular packet is in shades of pastels, yellows, and pinks and greens. And these uh, these are from a local shop, but you should be able to find them online from our website. Lion brand and it's called Jiffy Yarn. This is our perfect for baby blankets. They're super soft and fuzzy. And um, this color is called Light Pink. It comes in a variety of pastels. It is 100% acrylic, so easily washable. And my dog here. <laughs> You've all seen her before. She's trying to uh, find a good place to sleep. So anyway, those are the Jiffy yarns. <coughs> and the other yarns this week that have come in is called Simply Soft by Kalei. And this is not quite as um, fuzzy, but it's very, very soft. Beautiful color story. And this is also acrylic, so again, easy to wash um, if you have projects that you want to be able to wash. So um, over here we have felt. Now I know a lot of you have written in that you love uh, doing felting. And these little packets are great for those who like small projects because they're only about two inches square, but you get a wide variety of color shades. These are beautiful little felt squares that you can use for all kinds of projects. And they come in um, different packs based on the color. just love these. This is called Paper Tape and this particular one is by Martha Stewart but there are lots of different brands um, out there. This one I like particularly because of the vintage uh, colors. There's some reds, turquoise, greens, plaids, polka dots, and really pretty floral. So these uh, look like scotch tape but they're actually 
can use them for warm and paper crafting and sometimes they work on fabric crafts as well. And again, you can get them in a wide variety of colors. Right. So over here, um, we have some new ribbons that we've received in the studio this week. And then this one, probably because of the packaging, <laughs> comes in a nice little drawstring bag. reproduction program with the new rose buds. Really pretty. It comes in a three yard bundle. And again, different patterns, colors are available. <coughs> also in our ribbon department, we received these, which are so beautiful. This is a um, turquoise, but almost a pale, sort of a pastel aqua color. And they are made of rayon, so they're semi sheer, but they have a very nice trim on the edges that makes them very sturdy and hold up well to whatever you want to do with them. So they work for sewing projects as well as craft projects. And um, it comes in different widths. This is the three quarter inch version in a kind of a coppery gold. I don't know if you can see, but it's very shimmery. Very sheer. Just lovely. And for those of you who like more uh, traditional, we have a beautiful pearl green line here. This is a uh, one and a quarter inch beautiful olive green shade. And this comes in more traditional colors. This is a deep navy. Uh, perfect if you like to make sailor themed outfits or also make good candles. This one actually comes with a Velcro. straps like if you want to make your own tote bag. It's really sturdy straps. Okay. So um, we leave our fabrics to the end. I think we'll go for here. This product is actually um, not real gold leaf. It's artificial gold leaf. this before, but they're very, very thin tissue sheets, but it's almost like using real gold leaf. You can see how <laughs> it's very, very fragile, but it makes beautiful um, decoupage for jewelry any number of things. And this is by Houston uh, Art. They're in uh, Houston, Texas since 1965. And it comes in packs of 25 sheets. And they also have um, copper and bronze, silver. Really, really to show you um, these little models if you like village scenes uh, making little houses these are models made for polymer clay <coughs> it's by Amico company and it's called a push mold and they come they have about six designs um, they've shown me three of them here and you can use them not only for polymer clay, but paper clay. I use them for paper clay as well. I wanted to show you a couple of samples that were made with these. This is a little kind of a New England style house. 
use your traditional colors and it's just painted with acrylic paint and then a little gloss put over it. So this one is the paper clay and this is a sample made with the polymer clay from a little farmhouse and um, covered porch. Really cute. And the backs are flat so they are, they are three dimensional but they're not, um, they're meant to like stand up against a uh, background or scenery or something like that. Okay. Alright, so we do have some um, new books that have come in as well. This is a crochet book on making all kinds of bookmarks. Really a fun project for if you just want to crochet something really quick as opposed to making a whole sweater or afghan. These are little projects great for gifts. It's from Annie's Attic. And it's a short booklet. Um, there's some samples. So it's pretty inexpensive. It has about uh, 12 patterns in it. And we also are left to see what books have come in this month. Um, this is on decorating eggs with wax and dye. And there are beautiful colored um, pictures in here to inspire you. I tried doing this once. It's very difficult. It's difficult to get such precision, but it takes a lot of practice. But it, it was a lot of fun as well. You can get folk designs, um, contemporary designs. It's a lovely, gorgeous book. Um, and for those of you that like more country crafts, here's from Do Country Dough Craft by Lynn Rogers. Really cute um, projects. I've made three or four of these. If you would like to make books, here's pockets, pullouts, and hiding places. Interactive elements for altered books, memory art, and collage. Really nice ideas in here. And the last book we have painting houses, cottages, and towns on rocks. Really uh, ties in with our village theme for today. Um, these, it's really fun once you start looking for rocks outside, <laughs> you get hooked, and um, it's fun to paint them. If you like detailed work, these will really be fun. Now, um, only a little bit of time left, so I wanted to show you some of the fabrics. These are a new line that have come out that are actually have a village scene on them. Quilt shop. Let me show you. You can cut them into squares. This one is beach scenes. Different shops, houses at the beach, and you can make them into quilts or you can make individual pillows or whatever you get inspired to make. This is another one. Forest, a quilt shop, and an antique shop. It's a lot of fun. They are 100% cotton. Oops. Alright. There's another one with a holiday theme. This bakery. This is actually very large. out of time, but I just wanted to show you some of the other um, vintage fabrics. 